Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good night, fuckers. Now, this is a Jeux uh, la Culture a Memo Vox, uh, which I bought about 14 months ago and has been working absolutely fantastically until about a month ago when it started running really, really slow. My uh, thoughts uh, initially were that the thing may be magnetized, and uh, so uh, what I'm going to demonstrate to you today is uh, how to, how to uh, figure out whether your watch is magnetized and how to demagnetize the fucker if it is. Now, uh, the, uh, the program that I've used uh, to detect the magnetism is a little thing for the iPhone uh, called uh, Lepsi. And uh, this is a, a fairly uh, simple and free uh, app, uh, which basically just utilizes the inbuilt compass in your iPhone uh, in order to detect uh, uh, extraneous magnetism around the phone. Uh, so uh, what you need to do with the app uh, when you start is you need to find where the, the, the uh, compass is actually located. Now in the iPhone 6, which I have, it is located just to the left of the, the speaker, right up the top of the, um, of the phone face. So once you've found the thing, uh, you uh, then need to sort of uh, grab your watch and then uh, uh, fiddle around with it around about one centimetre from the surface of the phone in order to detect whether or not there is any uh, magnetism uh, in the watch. Now this watch is uh, 18 karat gold case. Uh, obviously though uh, not everything in it is gold. There's going to be uh, iron in particularly in the mainspring and the uh, balance spring which is the usually the problem which causes uh, watches to run usually fast but very occasionally slowly. So uh, as we can see here, there is some magnetism being detected by the compass and it seems to be around about the 9 o'clock region of the uh, watch face. Uh, now what is located at the 9 o'clock region of the watch face on the memo box? It's the balance spring and the balance wheel. So I think that this is reasonably good evidence that uh, the balance spring on this watch has been magnetized. So here we go. This is the uh, demagnetizer. It's a 10 buck uh, purchase from uh, eBay. It's made by Tianju and it's the uh, the 333 model which is way better than the 666 model. Um, this thing it can cost anything up to 70 bucks if you buy it from a, uh, a Swiss retailer. 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, so what we need to do is you need to activate the thing and then gradually remove the watch from the magnetic field. And this is really important because there are a few videos out there about demagnetizing your watch using this particular device where the uh, demonstrator just leaves the watch on the device. And that is not going to work because this is a completely manual device. Here's a little graph some science uh, showing you in the blue uh, with the blue uh, line what the magnetic field is doing um, uh, as you uh, uh, increase the distance from the device so what you need to do is uh, in order to demagnetize your uh, balance spring or your um, whatever you want to call it uh, your, uh, your balance wheel balance spring your um, uh, whatever the fuck it's called anyway, is you need to move the watch gradually out of the alternating magnetic field that these devices create. If you just leave it in the magnetic field, all you're going to do is magnetize the spring. You're not going to demagnetize it. You need to remove the thing slowly through the magnetic field. And the oscillations in the magnetic field from north to south and north to south and north to south will gradually decrease to zero and will, if your uh, balance spring has any iron in it, will, uh, will demagnetize uh, the, uh, the, the iron in the balance spring. So we've done that. And uh, let's just test the thing back again on uh, Lepsi. And we can see 
if we pass this thing over the, uh, the, the compass in the iPhone, that there is no magnetism again. So that's uh, that's a I think that that's that's a successful uh, demagnetization. Now it's just a matter of uh, figuring out whether or not this has uh, improved the performance of the watch. And for that, you're gonna need to watch another video of mine. So anyway, look, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later, guys. Goodbye, uh, happy new year, and uh, good luck uh, for 2017. Cheers.